Hello friends, welcome back. This is Manish Pandey. Today in this video, we are going to talk about active queues in Blue Prism. We'll talk about what is active queue, how to use this active queue in our process. So first you can see here, this active queues, this can be found on control tab. We have queue management and one that is active queue. So active queues, all the queues you can find here. Now let me show you what is active queue and what is the use of that. Active queue helps distributing workload to multiple resources and managing multiple sessions from active queue control management. It is mainly useful in the scenario where you have a multi boat architecture setup to work with the queue. Instead of creating sessions separately in the control room and then moving to the queue management page to see the result, active queue allows you to set a target number of resources which should be working the queue. Once you set the target resource number, it starts session automatically on assigned resources. So this is the active queue architecture. This picture has been taken from Blue Prism website. You can see this is the active queue. It has all the items present in this active queue. This one you can see we have the resources, active resources we have. So we have three resources and here we have active queue controller where we can see how many available resources we have, how many target resources we have, what are the available resources now we have, time remaining and completion time. So we can see from that. So here you can see based on this three resources in our active control uh, controller, here we can see, okay, active resources 2, target resources 2. It means there are two resources. These are active to process the queue items. Now one available resources we have. So this is the one available resource on which we are not running currently. We have only two resources that is, not, that is on the target and which is the active one where we are going to run the queue items. And now from the active queue controls, we can see the time remaining and then we have the completion time all this we can see from there now i'm going to show you how to use active queue how to enable active queues so here currently we are not getting any queues here right but here in the queue management we have two queues now how can we get the those queues here in this active queues so to ena enable this one you have to first go to system tab and then find out this workflow and then click on this work queues and now here we have two work queues. One that is Centrix Data Solutions. Second, Loan Origination Queue. So let me click on Centrix Data Solutions. And here we have queue name, key name, the status of this queue, and then we have active queue. So this part is used to enable the queues in the active queue. So check this. Once you'll check this, it will enable this sections where we have to assign a process and we have to assign a resource group so assign process means which process you are going to assign to that queue so here you can see we have first process that is a part of default and what is this process this process only which has been published to the control room so currently only one process has been published to the control room now if if you want any process to be available here so you have to follow some steps let me go back to the studio here let me click no studio now select your process which you want to publish to the control room so I have this process I want to publish this process to the control room because I want to run I want to uh, make this process to use with the active work queue so double click on this process information stage this is process information stage and now here in the bottom you can see publish this process to control room now check this now click ok now once you click ok you will get here one symbol that is correct or green symbol that says that ok this has been now published now save this now close this go to system click on workflow work queues now go back to the this centrix resolutions now check this checkbox now you can see we have centrix data solutions because i want to assign 
this process to this queue now we have assigned resource group so we can select so our resource group so one group can have multiple resources so this is a resource group so i have a personal group where i can have a multiple but currently i have only one resource that is my personal resource that is my machine name so i have selected here now let me show you where we can find out those resources so go to control room now here right side you can see i have this personal group name that is the folder you can say like this is the group name that is personal and in which i have one resource which is ready to run that queue items now if you have multiple so you can uh, assign those group and you can run that right now in the system and walk queue now we have selected those uh, we have assigned that process we have assigned that resource group and we click on apply now go to control room and now here you can see now we have divided this queue items so this is for queue management this is normal walk queue and this is now active queue you click on this plus now you can see this is our active walk queue this is active queue and the color of this queue is also now changed once you click on this right side you will get this here this options where you can configure walk queues we are getting the queue name which is marked as a active queues we have a status so this queue is running the status is running target resource we have currently zero active session currently zero available resource we have one so you can go to the today and now you can see here one resource available here here you will get time remaining of this process elapsed time remaining and then walked how many process you have walked and how many remaining here you will get all the queue items from this specific queue if you have multiple active queues you will just click on that same as walk queue same as this once you click on that you will get queue items for those queues right now how can we start the queue so the use of this here instead of going on the session management drag and drop this to the this uh, this resource and then run what you can do you can directly go to this active queue and you have this queue assigned to that specific process that is centrix management solution process to start the session you have to click on this part and currently we have target resource that is zero and we have available resource one it means we can run this process on only one resource because we will only we have available resources that is one if you have multiple you can set the target resource number if you have 10 you can set 5 6 7 as per your requirement now let me increase this number to 1 so i have set as 1 now once i will click here now active session is 1 session means this one now you can see we have a started one session that is now running so once you will once you will set the target here as a one it will start the session automatically and then it will start running the same process that is written in this centrix data solutions if you have set here two resources if you have two resources here if you have set two so it will create two sessions and it will start processing that on the two resources now we have active sessions one is running here and there is no available resources it means now that target resource that we have only one so now this is not available because this is running this is busy and you can refresh now from here and you can see now we have added or uh, like board has added 10 items to the queue and now it's processing here now you can see here refresh now we have time remaining 1 minute 36 seconds now 1 minute 24 seconds and then this is the ETA this is walked so 3 items completed 7 pending now refresh so ultimately it will be updated after some time now 4 just refresh that and now after some time you will be getting here 7 walked 3 pending only so 1 is in pro progress and 2 says that pending Now 8 worked. 
and two pending and you will see here in the backend it's processing and from this session you can see we have this running if you want to stop you can just select and stop the session if you have multiple session running then you can select and each session will have a different different resources you will get here if this session is running on the this resource you will you will see here if you have multiple resources so multiple sessions will be there and that e session will have a different uh, resource name and then if you want to stop any you can select and you can stop the selected one so here i have already added the age stop requested so whenever it will come here it will check that is a stop request or not if yes it will close the application acquire the output log got the token number write the data to the collection and release the release the lock and then go to end so we have already set up uh, this to work with the multi boot now you can see this has been completed now and if you we'll go to this active queue now we have all this data completed and here now we have target resource zero and active session is zero it means there is no session now that session is completed and the target resource also now by default that set to zero it means there is no session running and there is no target resource now and we have now one available resource now again if you want to run that so again you just need to double click here on and you have to set one either you can increase from here or you can type one so automatically the session will be started once you will set the target resource number automatically that session will be started so this is the use of active queues i hope this is useful if so please like this video and please subscribe the channel and please share this video with with your friends with your colleagues thank you so much for watching this video if you want to learn ui path rpa then you can visit my youtube channel youtube.com/uipathrpa if you want to learn blue prism from udemy so i have created one course for blue prism rpa complete course on udemy so you can purchase that course and you can get the certificate from there i will enter the the referral code and the link in the video description you can go through that i hope you like that one